Hello and welcome to another short edition of AC with Wacy. Um, we got a nice day today of about 60 odd degrees, be another one tomorrow. But we got an Arctic front coming in this weekend, so being Texas, we're going to drop all the way down there to single digits just for fun. Um, so, little preparation ahead of the storm. If you have a filter that hasn't been checked, get your filter checked. A uh, dirty filter always hit, hurts your heat exchange some, but uh, in cold weather it can cause a lot of issues and cause you to get tripped out and, uh, and uh, cause, cause lockouts because they're running for longer periods of time. If you have a single stage heat pump, uh, you want to be switching that to emergency heat when it gets down there below 30. Uh, if you have a two-stage heat pump, you might get away with 20 to 25, um, depending on the unit. If you have a variable speed, you're probably going to be good <clears throat> without switching it over. Um, but, uh, but get ready for that. And uh, just a little reminder, as we see a lot of posts and a lot of things after freezes about people upset with the electric company because their bills have gone up. Um, it's not your electric company. Those heat strips that you use as auxiliary and emergency heat, they unfortunately do use a lot more power. So that's why your power bill spikes when you're going through cold weather. Uh, so you might want to consider leaving it a couple degrees cooler than you normally do uh, while you're switched over to emergency heat. Use just a little bit less juice. Uh, maybe burn a fireplace, what, uh, something like that to help you out. But, uh, but anyways, for the weekend, you probably want to be switched over to emergency heat. I think early next week we'll be crawled back up out of it. But, uh, but yeah, around 30 degrees for single stage, around 20, 25 for the two stage. Um, if, you've, if you've got a newer high efficiency variable speed heat pump, you should be fine without it. Um, if you're not a fan of the high electric bills and you want to get one of those new variable speed heat pumps, I put one on my house last spring, a Samsung Hilux. I highly recommend it. Um, mine has not turned on the heat strips all winter and I, I don't expect it to this weekend, I guess. Uh, but it works extremely well. It's cut my bill by a significant margin. Check our other videos out for details on that. If you want to discuss a new uh, Samsung Hilux, I'm not sure we can get it in before the weekend, but we might get it in before the next cold snap. So uh, let me know if you're interested. Until then, thanks for stopping by.